See, there are times you may have heard me say when your net is correct. There are times when your location is correct, the sea. There are times when your skill is correct, yet you will still not catch fish. I do not see anything wrong as far as producing results is concerned. Peter was a skilled fisherman. His nets were the right tools. The boat was there. The sea was the right place, yet there was no catch. Now, that was, it was at that point that Jesus showed up. And he looks at them and says, little children, have you any catch? And Peter wondering, who is this man? Notice every time Jesus saw insufficiency, he quickly rushed to explain something. There is something with the dealings of God with men that the weakness of men attracts God so much to them because it is, is a vocal expression of the need for his ministry in their life. Listen to me. When you act on the word, you are not negating faith. You are not negating the grace of God. You are participating. There is a participatory requirement to make the word of God come to pass. Many believers continue to cross their legs, fold their arms. Just because you found it does not mean it will happen. You will sit down and watch yourself grow old. And yet the word of God does not work. The word of God only works for those who work it. You must engage it. It says, work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Your own salvation. So I give you an instance. I'm living a life of failure. I'm living a life of defeat. And I am tired. Then I go to God in prayer. And I begin to see all the promises that continue to show me that I have a great destiny in Christ. Now everything that represents shame and represents reproach in your life it comes to an end now it comes to an end now it comes to an end now i decree and declare that everything that looks like delay delay it looks like you've been stagnated in one position not going forward i prophesy to you according to exodus 14 12 to 14 in the name of jesus go forward go forward go forward go forward go forward go forward in the name of jesus let me declare you can lock yourself and pray yourself out of certain things let me tell you many people are not yet tired of suffering many people are not yet tired of defeat there is something that happens to a human spirit at the point of pain there is a day you lock yourself and say i am tired of my wife feeding me my children feeding me an infidel i know she's faithful she's doing her job but lord it's time to take my place as a man you may not know what to do but you can pray to know what to do James chapter 5 and verse 13, Apostle James is teaching us the dynamics of victory in the spirit. And he says, is any man afflicted? He says, let him pray. Then he says, the fervent and the effectual prayer of the righteous availed much. Now, he uses our same Elijah as an example to personify the power of prayer. He says, an instance, you can come and meet somebody and say, please. Can you give me one million naira for my house rent? The person can say, sincerely, I want to help you. But the only challenge is that I don't have that kind of money now. That person has integrity. He's not corrupt. He's not playing you. Unfortunately, he may not have ability. It is painful to have integrity and not have ability. Hmm. Oh. From Genesis to Revelation... The Bible does not hide anything about God as far as his dealings with men is concerned so that we can vet him and find out whether he's worthy of our trust. The second definition, the name given to the action that you take. Believers, God is showing you where we have been missing it now. The action that you take. So it is true that you believe there is such a reality. But now, here is the instruction. And two of you, I want you to do something for me. I will start with you. I'm going to ask you to come and receive this. 
I want you to do any other thing. If you want, go there. If you like, stroll. If you like, sit down. But don't come. You get your, your own now. We're acting a drama now. And then for you, when it's your turn and I say come, I want you to walk gallantly and come and receive it. Ready? So this guy got born again before this guy. Are we the church of the Lord Jesus Christ, when it comes to accessing wisdom and intelligence for commanding dominion within the cosmos, we are largely bankrupt. We do not understand the place of relationships. We do not understand the, some of these strategic things that grants the saints and grants men in general an advantage in life. You may have heard me say, for instance, that who hates you in this kingdom does not matter. But believe me, who loves you matters. A king hates a woman and she stops being queen immediately. The king loves a village girl from Shushan and she becomes queen immediately. David falls in love with a crippled man called Mephibosheth to honor Saul. And that man steps into royalty immediately. A midwife becomes careless at the point of delivery. And I decree and declare every sickness, heart conditions be healed now. Yes. Cancer be healed now. Yes. HIV be healed now. Yes. Kidney conditions, lung conditions be healed now. Blood related conditions be healed now. Eye conditions be healed now. Ear conditions be healed now. Everyone here who has been bound by any spirit, I lose you now. I lose your family now. I lose every member of your family now. Anyone here and those watching who has been appointed unto